Described as a loving mother of three and a beautiful soul, tonight family and friends came together during a candlelight vigil to remember Cassie Dewey. The mother stabbed to death in North Spokane on Sunday. As of tonight, no one has been charged for her murder. Thanks for staying up with Nightside. I'm Aaron Luna. Co-workers, family, friends, even strangers came together. Many shared stories of what their relationship was like with the Spokane mother. The new on Nightside, those who knew Dewey tell Caitlin Knapp the joy she brought to their lives. Well, many mentioned the love she had for others. They also couldn't stop talking about her infectious smile and how great of a mother she was. Hugs, tears, and memories. Everybody that loved her is hurting to the core. All shared tonight in honor of 35-year-old Cassie Dewey. The news of her death shook everyone, like Kimberly Dimitrovich, who knew Dewey for 15 years. I say her name and I want to cry. Family, friends, and co-workers remembered her tonight. Very loving and caring towards the patient population at Eastern State Hospital, as well as towards her work family and her personal family. Flowers were placed next to pictures of her. Candles were lit, bringing a glow to everyone, just like her smile did. Cassie lived life on her terms and she lived it to the fullest. She was fun, um, loving, caring, wonderful mother, wonderful daughter. People who came to the vigil say Dewey was a beautiful soul. And that's the epitome of Cassie. She was always uh, very positive, very uplifting, fun to work with. Many are still trying to process the hole they now have in their hearts. When we are lost and sick at heart, we remember them. But what's keeping everyone going are the memories they'll hold forever of Cassie Dewey. Godspeed to your loving home. Get your angel wings and watch over the rest of us. And even though you're gone from the physical plane, you will not be forgotten. And Dewey's daughter was also hurt during her attack. She remains in the hospital tonight. Live in studio, Caitlin Knapp, 4 News Nightside.